Hi guys, in this video I want to introduce you the Wehrmacht's unique camouflage uniforms. The army started experimenting with camouflage patterns for Wehrmacht uniforms before World War II, and some army units used the splinter camouflage pattern first issued in 1931 and based on Zeldbahn shelter halves. The clothing pattern developed from it combined a pattern of interlocking irregular green brown and the buff polygons with a vertical rain streaks. The Luftwaffe saw the German Air Force had its own version with a smaller splinter and a more complicated pattern from probably 1941. The pattern was used for the Fallschirmjäger's parachute jump smoke. Other materials produced with this equipment included camouflage helmet covers and grenade bags. The production of the splinter camouflage ended in 1941. Other patterns have been designed for the Waffen SS from 1935 onwards. The SS camouflage pattern were designed by Johann Schick, a Munich art professor and director of a German camouflage research unit. Schick had researched the effect of light on trees in summer and in the autumn. These led to the idea of reversible camouflage clothing with green summer patterns on one side, brown autumn patterns on the other side. In 1937 the patterns were field tested by the SS Deutschland Regiment, resulting in an estimate that they would cut casualties by 15%. In 1938, a reversible spring autumn helmet cover, smock, and sniper face mask in chic forest patterns were created for the Waffen SS. Later developments were the plane tree pattern, which was used during 1942, and the swamp pattern, which was used during 1943. The P-Dot pattern was one of the family of German World War II camouflage patterns and was first issued to the Waffen-SS in 1944. The pattern had five colors, pale brown, dark brown, green, olive green and black, arranged as small rounded areas dotted over large irregular areas. In style was quite unlike earlier German camouflage smocks, it was not reversible. It was a two-piece uniform and could be worn either by itself in warm weather or over other uniform. The camouflage pattern was intended to be effective all year round. Finally came the Liebermuster, which was introduced in 1945. It was the last German World War II camouflage pattern. The pattern was issued on a very limited basis to combat units before the war ended. It consists of a bold irregular areas of black printed over brown and green on a pale background. It was the first pattern issued to both regular army and Waffen SS units. Production of the ground sheet helmet covers and smocks began in November 1938. They were initially hand printed, limiting deliveries by January 1939 to only 8,400 ground sheets and 6,800 helmet covers and a small number of smocks. By June 1940, machine printing had taken over and 33,000 smocks were made for the Waffen SS. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.